If you want to know how to get the best FPS possible, then make sure you stick around because I'm going to tell you exactly how you can achieve this. Also, if you enjoy the video and like my content, then consider subscribing and comment below saying I've subscribed and I'll be sure to reply back to you as soon as I can. Without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Before we get into today's video, firstly, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the last video. And if you haven't already subscribed already, make sure you do that right now because it gives you an extra 100 to a thousand fps boost on any game you play any pc no matter what so make sure you subscribe right away and i hear that also giving a like makes you look really cool uh, that's what i heard i'm only giving you the best information here possible but anyway let's get straight into it so the first thing you want to do you want to come down to the little window search you want to go straight over to your control panel go to system and security system come down to the little bottom here where it says advanced system settings Make sure you are on uh, advanced right here. Go on to performance, to the settings. What you want to do here, you see all of these boxes that are ticked. You want to go to adjust for best performance like so. And basically, the only two things you need here is uh, smooth edges and you also want to show thumbnails instead of icons. Click apply like so. And as you can see, pretty much what this has done is this is going to have uh, an extra smoothness on any of your gameplay, increase your um, performance in any games. And as you can see, the difference that it makes visually is next to nothing. You know, you don't get the blue like sort of bar here. Everything's sort of been smoothened down so you can get that extra frame boost. Again, the visuals are next to nothing. So I recommend you do this and I promise you, you will see a little bit of enhancedness in your gameplay. Enha and we're going with enhancements. Right, moving on to the next thing. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to load up a fresh tab and you want to go down to the description and I'm going to have two links of what you're going to need here. The first one is going to be for the TCP optimizer. Basically, what this is going to do is this is more internet based rather than FPS. This is going to uh, basically decrease your latency, uh, slightly increase your internet speed and just make your internet a whole um, sort of lot uh, smoother in general if you can read here and it tells you exactly what it does. Um, basically in games more like Fortnite where building and editing really rely on your latency, um, basically if you have lower latencies it's going to place quicker, it's going to feel smoother and that is the difference really between lower level plays and higher level plays is having that sort of smoothness and quickness when you are doing uh, editing and building say for example i know in other games or across all games really this sort of is latency is sort of really key and having lower latency is going to have a much more better gaming experience especially for more professional play so basically what you want to do is you want to hit the download here and then what you're going to do is you want to go to the other link that I've got and you want to download this little file here. Basically, this has got all the settings that you need for the optimizer right here. Once you've done that, I've already done it so I don't need to. You want to locate it in your files. So mine is in the big daddy -o. Somewhere down here. Boom. What you want to do, you want to select that. And you want to run it as administration. Otherwise, you will not be able to apply the changes. Wait for it to load and set your uh, internet speed to whatever yours is. So mine is around 10 megabytes. Then you want to go over to file, import, find the other, uh, find the file that I told you to download. It will be this file right here, open. Basically what it'll do automatically puts the settings to what you want them to be. Hit apply, hit okay, wait for it to load and that should be you good to go remember if you don't open up this in uh administration you won't be able to do the settings and oh, me and basically after that what you want to do is you will want to reboot your system like so all right next thing we're going to go back into the control panel again this time we're going to go on network and security go to network and sharing center and basically, for me, this is uh, Ethernet, but whatever your connection is, you just it'll be right here. Just click on that. Go to Properties and find the Internet Protocol version 4. Just click on that. And basically, this will be like this. And you want to be used to following DNS. Basically, what you want to do is, is 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 4, 4 and change this to yes otherwise you will not be able to save this and it will not count so what you want to do is put okay okay basically what it do is 
there's a problem, blah, 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 just close. You're all good, you're all connected. And if you go over to here, you'll see that I am all connected to the internet, like so. And basically, what that was is that is just um, that is just Google's uh, DNS server, and it will it should be the best sort of standard uh, DNS server you're going to want to use. Of course, the you could really go into nitpicking and, and find the best DNS server for you. But as a general, this one will be better than the one you have currently, unless you've already uh, went in and you find found a much more better one personally. But again, I can't do that for you because I don't know where you live, I don't know where you are, etc., etc. Do that yourself, don't worry about me, you go watch another video. Yeah. Alright guys, for this next one is gonna be another download. Basically, when you want to go to malware bytes, again, I'll leave this in the description. Uh just hit free download. Basically, what this is gonna do is this is just gonna uh search your PC, see if there's any like problems, any like sort of uh other file like dead files or any sort of junk on there or anything causing a problem and it will ask you, uh, prompt you to get rid of it. Basically, what you're gonna do is just gonna clean your PC up a little bit. So once you've downloaded that, uh, it will bring you to a page that looks like this. And basically, all you want to do is just press scan. And as you can see, it is scanning my PC now, depending on how often you do this and how often you don't, and how much you've got on your PC, the longer it'll take. Uh, as you can see, it tells you all the things it's doing, it tells you what it's up to. Um, for me, I haven't done this in a while, so it's going to take uh, a longer duration of time. But you can also you can also scan the schedules and there are other few things you can burn like reports etc etc and boom mine is done took one minute 13 seconds and it found nothing no threats no nothing i'm all good to go click done and you're all good to go and if just in case you didn't already know it will download a little icon like this uh, again you can just uh, delete this and it away all right so you want to go back into your window setting you want to go to background apps right here basically as you can see all of my background apps are on and all you want to do is simply just turn them all off is what I normally do however you may find that you want to have some of these off so just go through and select which ones oh, excuse me you want off and which ones you want on but for me usually I will just have them all off like so and basically what that's going to do is as it says the background apps that are going on turning all of that will have um, your PC uh, less focused on them and will focus solely on the things that are open etc the, the game that you want to play and will give you a pretty big FPS boost since it's not running I mean for me currently there's at least there's 30 plus uh, background apps that's doing in the background again they may not take up loads but as a collective they take up quite a lot of your space and again will grant you a pretty good fps boost that's all i've got for you today guys but i just want to say before i go thank you so much for the support on the channel um again i did not expect it to get as far as it has done in the past couple of days i'm really thankful for everyone that's liked viewed subscribed etc and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe now i'm going to be doing much more content like this in the future and also comment down below what else do you want to see do you, do you want more games do you want like you know i could do other videos other than just fps boost you know on a similar same topic but anything you guys want to do write it down in the comments below or uh, at me on my social media that is also down below as well and i'll be get back to you as soon as i first began thank you guys very much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one